Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your November 2021 tarot reading. As I was meditating on your reading for your overall energies for November, I saw you wandering around in this course of the season, a corn maze. And you were holding a compass in your hand. And do I go left? Do I go right? How do I get out of this maze? How am I going to escape? And I see you trying to dig through one of the walls of the corn maze. And you, you hit a brick wall. Taurus, there's no shortcuts. You got to make your way and work your way through the situation. And it's just, just like an energy of what did I get myself into? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your reading here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, ascended masters of the pure and white light. What are the messages for Taurus? We have Archangel Michael. And I have my cousin Daryl. And I have Josephine. And Lulu decided to join in as well. My other grandmother. Daryl and my two grandmothers, Lulu and Josephine, are my guides. So let's go ahead and dig in. Hanged man energy. That's Pisces. Crossed by the star, Aquarius. The tower. This is like the energy. You got three major arcanas right out the gate. So this is big. Six of Pentacles in your recent past, in your thoughts, chariot, or what you're hoping for, or what you're thinking about, near future, page of Pentacles, four of wands, where you're at, your mindset, this is also a timing card. Your environment, who's in your environment is a magician. That could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Two of Cups. And Six of Swords for the potential outcome. Underlying theme under the deck is we have the Nine of Swords. So, Taurus, what I'm getting here is like basically what um, Spirit had shown me, okay? You know, we're sitting here. You're sitting here in this hangman energy, okay? Wondering what your next move is going to be. How you're going to get through this. Trying to find that ray of hope. That's sunlight. You may even be putting wishes out there into the universe. Wishing upon a star. And you're waiting for something to happen here. You feel like your life has been suspended. You're in that corn maze. And you're wondering, what's next? How do, what, what direction do I go next? Because underneath... We have the tower. The tower is representing some kind of major upheaval. Something has happened. And this is Scorpio energy. Scorpio Aries energy. Something has happened, Taurus. That was causing a total collapse. Something sudden, unexpected. And that is the universe's way of breaking down the old it's not working it's this, and this is you know this is underneath this is like the 
basis. This is something was built on a false foundation. And you're standing there waiting for the other shoe to drop. And you're wondering, how am I going to get out of this? Recent past is the Six of Pentacles. Because you've invested so much into this. You have given and given and given. <clears throat> but it feels like you haven't received what you've given, put in. It doesn't, it feels like it's uneven, an uneven give and take here. Um, because of my hand, I'm not doing reversals. But I almost feel the reversed energy of the Six of Pentacles. Of breadcrumbs. Okay, I feel like somebody was giving just enough to you to hold you, to stay in this connection. But they weren't giving their all like you were. You were giving your all, but they weren't. It's It was very uneven. Okay, and you are thinking about taking off with the chariot card, Cancerian energy. And and you you're you're thinking about this, you're thinking about move about your next move forward. You're thinking about being successful. You want this to be successful. You want to be successful. You want thing. You want to get unstuck here. And the chariot is a very fast moving energy. It is fast moving, just like the tower. And it's like something happened that progressed things forward that was very sudden. But with the tower, there's also usually that uncomfortable collapse of something. So something, you feel like something is out of your control. That's what that is. You are you feel, you're thinking about it in your thought process. This is out of my control. Moving forward, um, the page of pentacles. The page, I feel, is learning and discovering. I feel like in sometime in November here. I'm hearing about four weeks. So towards the end of November. Beginning of December. Time frame here. It's when this is playing out. That you're going to come through this. And you're going to, you're going to learn something. There was something you needed to learn from this experience. And. You're going to, I feel like you're going to uncover or discover something that is going to help you move forward. Maybe you're going to discover the manipulation of somebody. So you may, somebody that may have been using you. And you may be uncovering their manipulative ways and the fact, and their fact that they are a user. Okay. And I feel you're going to be done worrying about this situation. Right now, like through November, you are you have this gut feeling. You know that you're being manipulated. And you're trying to figure out, how do I get out of this? Okay? And you're fearing. I think that this is a, low, a higher level commitment. And this may be somebody that you are living with. Maybe you're worried about living arrangements. Afraid that you won't have some place to live. Or you're, you're really afraid of going the next level with this person. But I feel that there's already a higher level commitment here. And they are trying to manifest it to go to the next level. They may be waiting on a ring or waiting on something. But something higher than where it is now. And you are fearful about taking that next step. Their energy is of the magician. They have manifested this. And I'll flat out say it. But maybe they manipulated the universe as in using magic. Okay? Using magic to get what they want, potentially. But they were definitely manifesting everything that they've got right now. They've manifested you into their life. They've they're manifesting. And it's kind of, and they're getting it. Everything that they want, they're manifesting. They know how to manifest and they know how to manipulate energy. 
you may discover this, their tactics. Okay. And you may be having a choice or a decision here. You want what you're looking for, what you're hoping for is the happily ever after. You want that deep connection. You want that loving connection. But where things are going with the Six of Swords, navigating yourself out of that troubled waters. You might be moving on, to be honest. I get, I'm surprised the Eight of Cups is not here, but I feel its energy, okay? I feel as though you are in the process of moving forward. You're navigating your way out of a mess and moving forward. Okay. I want to get into... We're going to get some clarifications. I want to get, get more about their energy. The moon. That screams magic to me. Spell work. If they weren't doing it, they may have resorted to seeking out a witch. Or somebody in the craft, per se, to get what they wanted. And they're definitely hiding it. There are things hidden about this person that you don't realize that may, but I think with that self-discovery, you're going to be discovering this, but they are hiding. Three of Pentacles. There you go. They are hiding the fact that they were working in collaboration with somebody else to manifest this relationship, to manifest you. They did not do things ethically. Um, I feel Five of Swords energy. Okay, now we're going to dig into this outcome, this moving on. Let's get some more information about this. Page of Wands, a new path. Okay, a new start. So I do feel that you are going in a new direction. And leaving the past behind. Queen of Wands. You could be moving towards another woman. I feel that this reading here, I feel like I'm connecting to a masculine Taurus. Doesn't have to be. It could. The roles can be vice versa. But I feel like you're moving towards someone else. Someone else who you find very attractive, very dynamic, very confident. Uh, they may have fire in their, a strong fire in their chart. When, you know, when readers say you got fire in your chart, or you have Aries or Leo or whatever. Everybody has that in their chart. What I'm saying is you probably have planetary placements or transits going through that. It's through certain houses. But uh, when I say this, I say strong energy in Leo or Aries or Sagittarius in your chart or something transiting your natal chart. But what I'm getting here is, or they do. You are moving towards somebody who's very fiery, who's on fire, who's very passionate, very sensual. And that choice and decision in love, I think you want to make the choice for love. King of Swords. You're, you're being very strategic, which it kind of goes along with this energy of trying to man maneuver out of a situation. How am I going to get out of this? Eight of Swords. Yep, you are planning your escape. You are ready to fly the coop and move on. Get away from this manipulative energy. You're being very decisive. It's like your decision is final. And there's not going to be any going back. Singlehood card. Nine of Pentacles. You're protecting your assets. You're becoming very independent. I think you're becoming single again. Three of Cups. But there's a there's a union here. There's a friendship. You know, you might be this might be somebody in your circle, friends of circle, that you are going to connect with, Taurus. You're I don't feel you're going to be single very long. 
And Spirit is saying, you need to speak your truth. This is seeing things very clearly. You're being advised to cut somebody out. Speak your truth and say, it's like you're telling them it's done. And you could be moving towards an earth sign, Queen of Pentacles, another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could be your energy. This is pre-Empress energy as well. So you might be moving towards somebody who's very loving and nurturing. We got two women here. So just saying, take that as it resonates. We have two women and a man. This could have been a third party. And you could be choosing love. You could be moving towards another earth sign. Or you could be moving towards a fire sign or, or, or a combination. This could be one of the same people. Somebody who's very beautiful, who's very passionate. But very loving and nurturing. Very motherly at the same time. This might be somebody who mothers you. Pampers you. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Stillness. So your current situation is it's not moving forward. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Um, or you might be being still. Patience. So you... You might be in this energy of being still and patient to see how this situation turns out. Opportunity. Okay. I think that you are being very patient and still for and looking for your a new opportunity. I think they, you know, I. it's like, I'm hearing that you don't want to be alone. So you're kind of being still. You're not taking action on this until you know you have another opportunity. Magical map shifter. I said somebody was using magic. Follow the leader. Okay. I feel like somebody was being very manipulative and got you to follow on towards them, got you to follow them. This is just confirming ghost lands. But ghosts, there's definitely a spiritual connection here. They used the spiritual world and they used somebody that they cooperated with to bring you into their life to begin with. But you might be ghosting them. Just saying. It's like something's dead. I just heard that. Something is dead. Okay. Okay, what do we have here? Wealthy man. This is somebody with money. If you're on the man, this might be you. I. It's like this person that you're dealing with had ulterior motives as well. But you are you are being viewed as being very wealthy, very well to do. Money in the bank. You might be an investor. You might be a banker. You might be a business owner, of some sort. You might be the leader. Okay. But I feel like this person manipulated and led you high honor so you are somebody who is well respected in the community actually you have a status quo um maybe even friends in high places and that's what the one of the things that this person was attracted to change Ah, your status quo may have changed as because of this person. You know, somebody you may have been viewed as honorable, and that may have been changing. 
because of this person. That tower moment that happened in recent or distant past. That, that tower moment was the moment when this person entered your life. Something else, something it caused a collapse. And then you were trying to rebuild a foundation with this person. But it was built on a false foundation. Why? Because they used universal manipulation. Magic, if you will. I only use ma I use that term loosely because that's what most of you understand is magic. But they used some tactics, some manifestation tactics. And yes, they could have gotten third-party help from somebody who is a practitioner, somebody who is who knows how to manifest spell work per se, maybe to get things to fall into place the way that they did. I'm just saying. And because of that, you know, it was built on a false foundation. And now you're in this sense of feeling trapped and you're wondering, okay, how do I get myself out of this? But I think by the end of the month, you are going to figure it out or beginning of December. Anyhow, this is what I have for you, Taurus. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'll see you in the next read. Bye.